Hello McNary Mustangs, it's Miss Delgado. Today we are going to talk about bullying. What is bullying? Do you all remember second step when I used to go into your classroom and we used to talk about bullying and we used to watch those videos? Yes. So I am going to talk about what is bullying. And I'm going to give you a couple seconds to think what bullying really is. Bullying is when something happens over and over again. It doesn't stop. You may be in a classroom and another student keeps knocking your pencil down over and over again. You tell them to stop and they don't stop. It could be at recess when your friend or someone in your class or in another class push you over and over again and it doesn't stop. Bullying is one-sided. It doesn't go back and forth. That's a conflict when it goes back and forth. Bullying is also hurtful and it's also unfair. So do you all remember what the three R's are? Okay, so I want you to copy me. The three R's are recognize, point to your head, recognize, refuse, put your hand out, and put your hands like this, and report. So it's important to recognize. What is bullying? That's the one thing we need to really work on, is what is bullying? If you see someone pushing another student every day at recess hmm is that bullying if you hear and you see other students calling maybe someone else a really mean name over and over again and it's one-sided hmm is that bullying so remember it's really important to recognize that is our first r we are going to focus on. The next one will be refuse and then report. Okay, boys and girls, remember how I talked about recognizing. So I am going to read a couple scenarios and I want you to just think. Think, recognize. You can put your finger like this and try to recognize. Is that bullying? The first scenario a boy in your class has pushed you into the wall really hard, many as in a lot of times. Hmm. Is that bullying? Yes, that is. It's bullying because it's happening many, a lot of times, and it's not stopping. That is bullying. Next one. Every day at lunch, the same two girls say mean things about your brother. Then they tell you to get away from their table. Hmm, is that bullying? In this scenario, it doesn't say many times, but yes, it can be bullying. Next one. The boy who sits in front of you on the bus tries to pull your backpack off your back every time you walk by him. Hmm. Is that bullying? Yes. Now in that example, it does say every time compared to the other one. The other scenario could possibly mean they're just being really mean. So last one. Every day at recess, someone you thought was your good friend tells kids not to play with you anymore. Hmm, is that bullying? Yes. So remember, boys and girls, recognizing bullying is really important because someone who has been bullied before, it might hurt their heart, It'll hurt their feelings. It can make them sad. 
It's feelings that you don't want anyone else to go through. So right now, it's really important to recognize what is bullying. Hello, boys and girls. So I'm going to read a book about bullying, which the book is called Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. Boys and girls, remember, bullying is never allowed at our school. Never and there are consequences for those who do bully others. Molly Lou Mellon just stood just taller than her dog and was the shortest girl in the first grade. She didn't mind, her grandma had told her. Walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon had buck teeth that stuck out so far she could stack pennies on them. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, smile big and the world will smile right alongside you. So, she did. Molly Lou Mellon had a voice that sounded like a bullfrog being squeezed by a boa constrictor. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, sing out clear and strong and the world will cry tears of joy. So, she did. Molly Lou Mellon was often, was often fumble-fingered. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, believe in yourself and the world will believe in you too. So, she did. Then Molly Lou Mellon moved to her new town. She had to say goodbye to her grandma and all of her friends. And start in a new school. Oh no. On the first day of school, Ronald Durkin called her shrimp poo in, cla in gym class. When the game started, Molly Lou Mellon caught the football, ran under the legs of Ronald Durkin, and scored a touchdown. All the children thought, wow, she's good. And Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the second day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Bucky Tooth Beaver. Molly Lou Mellon took out her pennies, stacked ten high on her teeth, and smiled as big as day. All the children smiled with glee, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. <laughs> and on the third day of school, Ronald Durkin said, You sound like a sick duck. Honk, honk. Molly Lou Mellon sang out a quack so clear and strong that it made Ronald Durkin somersault backwards, hit his head, and have to go to the nurse. And all the children cried with joy to be free of Ronald Durkin for the rest of the afternoon, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. And on the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said that she'd made the snowflake all wrong. But Molly Lou Mellon opened up her paper and revealed the most beautiful snow, snowflake of all. All the children oohed and asked and ahad and even Ronald. And on the fifth day of school, Ronald Durkin brought Molly Lou Mellon a stacking penny. 
for her tooth and a, and smiled at her. Hmm. They're friends. She stood up for herself. That night, Molly Lou Mellon took out a pencil and a paper and wrote a letter to her grandma. Dear Grandma, I wanted to tell you that everything you told me was exactly right. Love, Molly Lou Mellon. Boys and girls, it's also really important to recognize bullying in the playground or even in class. For those that are older, those that are maybe in the third, fourth, and in fifth grade, bullying can sometimes look a little different. Sometimes it's more with words. Sometimes it's less physical. But... Sometimes it happens on the playground. For example, those that play basketball, maybe play football, maybe soccer, or even running on a track. Sometimes other kids will call others, maybe one person, a group of students against one student, names. Sometimes they can say, you throw like a girl every single day. Sometimes it could be words like, you're so slow. Other times it can just be maybe just talking very mean, um, using mean words. And you probably have a ton of examples. But when it happens every day and it's one-sided, that is bullying. So it's important to recognize. I know right now we are not at school, so Everything is virtual, but think about it. When you're in class, is there ever a, a student that's constantly picking on someone when you're on a Google Meet? Is it happening? If not, then there's no bullying. But if you notice that there is one student or a group of students picking on one, think, recognize, is that bullying? Okay, boys and girls, well, thank you so much for watching my second step lesson about bullying as this is the first one talking about the three R's and the first one is recognize. Remember the next two will be refuse and report. Thank you.